are back with more of the Crusader Coaches Show here on Country 93.1, live from Pines and Courts Pub and Grill. Every Wednesday, stop by and join us here. Reminder, tune in Friday, 5 o'clock will be the Crusader kickoff show as Muskegon Catholic Central gets ready to take on Fruitport. Both teams with an opportunity to clinch a spot in the MHSAA playoffs with a victory this week. So uh, a lot will be on the line and a lot of stress will be on this guy, I'm sure. This is the one of the assistant coaches, Scott Fedrosi, joining me here. Uh, graduate of Muskegon Catholic Central, uh, also uh, has a brother that was an All-State linebacker. You were an All-State linebacker. Yep. Uh, just uh, sounds like you're one of those MCC families. Uh, We've been around a while. Usually somebody that I've talked to knows one or both of us. And, uh, you know, I've been there for quite some time now, so it's kind of just been hanging around a little while, I guess, is okay. what you could call it. Fair enough. Now, I, I got some notes from Coach Zerwan uh, leading up to this, and uh, we're going to start with you coach the left side of the offensive line. <laughs> yeah. Just I, the uh, left side. Well, I peek over to the right once in a while, uh, Coach Rebecca. It's kind of just how we stand. Okay. I don't know. I've been standing <laughs> on the left side, and I kind of keep an eye on the guys on the left side of the line. Uh, Coach Rebecca kind of looks at both sides, so I started peeking over there a couple years ago. and uh, oh. so I, okay But I, I am the left side of the line coach okay. on offense, yes. Now, who gets the center? Uh, we both kind of um, – work with the center I would have to say okay so now we it, don't want to be too partial one way or the other if the center goes all state who's going to take credit for that uh coach Rebecca would take credit for okay that. fair enough fair enough uh now you also work with the defensive line is that yep, correct I work with our defensive front uh, mainly the down guys uh the guys that put their hand in the dirt and do all the dirty work up front um not a position I've ever played but it's been kind of fun learning it um it, it, it's something new so that when you're always learning something new uh, bring a little bit of excitement to it. It's kind of fun. Now, uh, from a linebacker's perspective, having the defensive line like you guys are playing right now, clearing out holes for you and blocking things up, that's got to be a luxury for the linebackers, uh, isn't it? it i got to believe it's great. Um, I know we had a pretty decent de defensive line when I was in high school, and, uh, you know, I'd have loved to play behind guys like this. These guys are great, and, uh, you know, they, they're pretty unselfish up front, and they work hard, and... Uh, I'd like to think that uh, I yell at them enough or get them moving, you know, encourage them to, to play hard and do the dirty work up front. That's where football games are won. Okay. So, you know, we like to control the offensive line, defensive line, and no matter if we have three down guys or four down guys or six guys on the line, we want to control that space. And, uh, yeah, it's been a fun thing with this group of kids, uh, letting our linebackers like Lamar and uh, – uh, Nate kind of run around and make tackles, and I, I always tell our guys that we make them look good. Yeah, you know absolutely. we do the stuff that uh, they don't want to do. They just want to go make tackles. You know, the, we're going to do the dirty work and get after it up front. So now, talk about coaching. Uh, when you're coaching both offensive line and defensive line, you're sharing a lot of those guys. How do you how do you simulate game situations with the numbers that you have? Well, that gets kind of difficult. Okay. Um, yeah, during our double practices at the beginning of the year, we did some half-line things where we would take the right side of the offensive line and run them against, you know, mainly the starters who weren't on that side um, to kind of simulate game speed mm -hmm. with them guys. Uh, we did a lot of that defensively to uh, both ways. So we'd take one day and do more like an offensive half-line drill and then uh, on both sides and then uh, – we do the next day we do like a defensive half line drill okay and kind of get them guys to work you know so we could our coaching staff would look at the defensive mainly and then uh one day we would look offensively so that's kind of you know the conundrum we're in where we got a uh, limited amount of linemen and uh you know putting our best on best okay type of thing. now uh, you were a player in the early 90s at mcc yep. uh, what, what were the team numbers like then how many did you have on a roster back then uh you know what i guess back then i was playing i really didn't worry about how many guys <laughs> but i know we had a lot more people standing around did so you? okay i would you know i would guess without going back and counting we had probably 30 25 to 30 guys on every varsity team that i was on here okay uh now all-State 1993, is that correct? 1993, yeah. Okay, so you're on the Wall of Fame? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, just talk about 
tradition like that. I mean, uh, we saw it a little bit with Coach Rebecca getting honored this week with a 300th win as a varsity assistant. And, uh, you know, it's I've only been around this football team for about four years now, but it just seems like there, it's some, there's something really special about this environment and the environment that you guys create for these young men. Yeah. Um, that kind of goes back to what you, you got into before about my, na- or my family's name being around a while. Um, you see a lot of the same faces and a lot of the same people. And uh, people have pride, you know, being a student or an athlete or an alumni of Catholic Central. And, uh, you know, I guess during with the football program, you know, we've all been instilled the hard work ethic that Mr. Rebecca and Mr. Holmes instilled on us okay. um, back in the day. And that's kind of, you know, resonated through everything else that we do with the football program sure. and who's here. So um, I'm pretty sure all four of the varsity head coaches are Catholic Central alumni. Uh, Chris Martinez, who coaches our JV, is an alumni. And uh, Mike Hornack, who's the line coach there, sent two boys and a daughter through there. So, you know, we all have a lot of pride in the school and uh, we've been instilled the hard work ethic you know, from people ahead of us, Um, you know, and then just seeing all the same people. You don't want to disappoint anybody, and, uh, you know, you're fighting for the same people every year. Yeah, so it it seems to be an incredibly supportive community from what I have witnessed so Very much so. Uh, Now, you were a linebacker. You're coaching defensive line. Who coaches the linebackers on the team? Uh, Coach Rebecca coaches the linebackers. Okay. Um, Mainly we do a lot of that because he's our defensive coordinator, so he's calling all the defenses. So when we do... Um, some pass skeleton stuff he can go over with the linebackers and be involved in that and uh, he kind of coaches them and uh, you know sometimes I throw a couple little tidbits in there if I have to or see something that I want to let Lamar or Nate know or uh, Kimbrough plays an outside linebacker for us so you know we kind of do a coaching by committee although you might have a per se position that you coach right but it's kind of like everybody we're all looking out for the whole team so it's kind of good you got four basically four position coaches for the line the defensive line the linebackers the running backs the quarterback you know we're all been around football a long time have a lot of knowledge in the game and uh, you know try to just instill that in the kids and then they get a little bit more knowledgeable and, and know what they're looking at and what they have to do I mean, uh, then uh, your final assignment is special teams coordinator. Yeah, uh, I, I think I, that kind of started up uh, last year maybe with Mr. Holmes, and uh, this year I've kind of took it upon myself to do a little bit more uh, just to kind of let Steve ease into doing his thing. And uh, Mr. Holmes did a lot of the special teams, and I kind of started tagging along with him last year. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I guess, the special teams coordinator. I okay. mean, we've been doing a lot of kickoffs lately. That's about all I know. So. Right. I mean, uh, the kick return stuff hasn't had too much of a workout, so. No, uh, well, uh, but, I mean, you've got luxuries, uh, both in the return game and the kick game. you got Griffin Seymour right now, and uh, we were just talking about him earlier. We don't think he's missed an actual kick yet in the game this season. And then you got guys like Alex and Tommy Scott and uh, Zach Houston that can all return kicks for you, and that we've seen Alex break one already yep. this year. Uh, I mean, obviously, all these guys are contributing in all areas of the team, but, uh, man, the special team seems to be going pretty well right now. Yeah, I mean, we have some great athletes, you know, to put on the field, no matter what position, offense, defense, or special team. So that helps. Um, My biggest worry all week is how do we get this guy off the field if he's tired? So uh, that's kind of what I've been trying to do is, you know, get Alex rested. I mean, I don't think in the first two games he might have missed a snap or two. And, you know, in the long run of a nine-game-plus season, uh, that can do some wear and tear. So we'll be better off at the end of the year if we can, you know, maybe get him off on a special team or do something like that and keep him a little fresher for the end of the season. So, uh, But we have great athletes back there, and we're just trying to get them in open space and let them use their natural abilities to make some plays for us. Yeah, well, uh, man, a couple of those guys, you give them some open space, it can be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, Tommy Scott can scoot, and Alex ain't too slow either. So uh, those guys can run. Uh, now, uh...